this is a cabin tour of room number 12342A, which is an XLC terrace here on Scarlet Lady. Now to open up your cabin door, you don't have a room key, but you have a bracelet with this little RFID. You touch it to there, it turns green, it means your room door is open. So we're gonna go inside and I'm gonna tell you all the features of this room. Now, first of all, when you enter, you see you have a little panel here. You can hit do not disturb, or you can hit room service, clean up my room, which is a spilled martini glass, kind of cute. You got your light switch here, thermostat here. You got some nice hooks to hang your jacket or your towel. So this is the bathroom area. Now you have a pretty large vanity. You've got drinking glasses, you've got soap, you've got a little storage area uh, down below with the extra, extra supplies if you need them, some towels. Now there are two doors here. It's kind of hard to see, so I'll back out a little. There are two doors here. Behind the door on the right is your toilet. And behind the door on your left is your stand-up shower where they have uh, shower products and a pump, uh, pump bottles over there. Rain shower from the ceiling as well as a handheld. And a full length mirror. There I am in the full length mirror, hello. Um, and so here's the room. The room itself, it's set up for a bed right now, but you can request that during the daytime you have a sectional sofa area that they convert to a bed at night. But when you first get on the ship, it's set up as a, as a bed pushed together for, uh, for one or two people. So over here you have a closet area. There's your life vests. You've got some towels. You have a safe, which is uh, just a standard safe. You got your shelving here. Here's a hair dryer. You got place to hang up your clothes. And you can see here, if you want to do laundry or pressing, you've got a bag for that. Now, the bed itself, it looks pretty comfortable. Got a nice set of pillows. There are some beach towels here, uh, which you can use at the pool or when you're in port. Power, and most importantly, USB, so you can charge your device while you're sleeping. You've got reading lamps above the bed. This is the daytime look when it's made up as a sectional sofa instead of a bed. But of course, at nighttime, they'll come and do turn down service and turn it back into a double bed for you. If you have two people sharing a room and they don't want the bed together, they would leave the mattresses in this L-shaped configuration, which might be a little bit awkward for sleeping, but that's how they do it if you have two people and you don't want the bed together. Your flat panel TV. Here is a little side table tray if you're having breakfast in bed or um, you can just use this, uh, this table here, it moves around. They've given us a mask along with the uh, cute little octopus. You have a chair here. On the other side, you have water. Now they refill uh, fresh water. They give you a choice of cold, ice water, uh, sparkling water, that's all included. And then you here underneath, you have your um, mini fridge. It's empty, but you can put things in there. You got your phone, your light. Now, interesting, they have a tablet, which is how you control a lot of functions in the room. You can change the lighting. You can order room service. You do your safety drill. You watch the safety drill either on the tablet or uh, on the app on your phone. And it's got maps of the ship. You can change the lighting in the room. You can control the curtains from the app. So it does have a lot of cool features on the app to control your stay. You do have a desk area with um, like a, a stool ottoman that, that comes out. And then the terrace, the sea terrace uh, balcony, open this up and show you not too big and because this is the front of the ship you don't have a plexiglass you have a steel here so it's sort of like a cove balcony but you do get uh, two seats and a table because this is the front of the ship and actually you can see here the bridge wing right above our heads but because it's an angle at the front of the ship it does not have a hammock like some of the other balcony rooms uh, but this is the, uh, the balcony here on the XLC Terrace. So this is a room tour on the Virgin Voyages. This is the third sailing it's doing out of the United States. I'm very happy to be on board and we'll do a bunch of additional videos about the experience of traveling on Virgin here on the Scarlet Lady out of Miami.